Hello dear students, today in this video we are going to learn how to prepare two very important indicators which we use during the acid based titration in our chemistry lab. The very first one is the methyl orange which we will prepare from sulfonylic acid and the second one is methyl red which we are going to prepare from the anthranilic acid and uh, these are the basic chemical requirements uh, for these preparations. The very first one is sulfonylic acid 5 gram and hydrosodium carbonate near about 2 gram. Then 2.5% of sodium carbonate solution near about 50 ml you will require. Then sodium nitrate 2 gram and then dimethyl aniline 3 ml concentrated HCl 6 ml. 20% annual solution 15 ml and dilute HCl near about 10 ml. Similarly for the preparation of methyl red like here you need sulfonylic acid. Here you will need anthranilic acid near about 4 gram. Then sodium acetate, sodium nitrate 4.2 gram, 2.2 gram. And NN dimethyl aniline near about 5.5 ml, concentrated HCl 8 ml, then 20% annual solution that is 3 ml, 10% acetic acid solution and methanol that is for the recrystallization. Now uh, what type of reaction is this? Basically this is a coupling reaction and diazotization reaction. So firstly what we are going to do in this preparation, we are going to do the diazotization. Diazotization means when we are going to prepare the diazonium salt. So for the preparation of diazonium salt what we are going to require is your sodium nitrate and concentrated HCl. And once you do the diazotization, we are going to do the coupling reaction in which we are going to couple our diazonium salt with the aromatic amine. So here in both these preparation we are using NN dimethyl aniline as the aromatic amine which we are going to couple with the diazonium salt that we will prepare by using sodium nitrate and concentrated HCl. So very easy preparation almost. Uh, similar chemical we are going to use and mechanism is also similar. So now what is the reaction for this whole uh, preparation of this methyl orange and methyl red? This is the reaction for methyl orange preparation as you can see this is the formula of sulfonylic acid in which we have sulfonic group at the para position with respect to NH2 group and we are going to add sodium carbonate and water. So water for the uh, for dissolving sulfonylic acid so as a solvent. So we are adding first of all these two then it will convert the sulfonylic acid to the sodium salt of sulfonylic acid. Now after that what we are going to do is adding uh, first of all concentrated HCl and then we will add the sodium nitrite. Make sure when you are doing this whole reaction from this step to this step you need to maintain the temperature up to 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. That means you are going to uh, keep your that the titration flask on the ice bar. So what the, this is actually this is a diazotization diazotization reaction so as you can see in the very next step what we have prepared is the diazonium salt this is the diazonium salt of your sulfonylic acid so this diazonium salt preparation then what happened after this diazonium salt we are going to couple it with the with this what is this this is the aromatic amine so you can take any aromatic amine like here we have taken nn dimethyl aniline okay so it will couple with this diazonium salt and you will get your methyl orange so this is the formula of methyl orange now if we look for the reaction of methyl red so like here also almost same thing is happening we are adding our uh, sodium nitrite and HCl and uh, water in the anthranilic and uh, maintaining the temperature from 0 to 5 degrees Celsius by keeping it on the ice cold bath and then it will convert this anthranilic acid to the diazonium salt. So again this step is the diazotization reaction. So what is diazotization reaction is the preparation of diazonium salt from the from the this amine. So then after this again we are going to do the coupling reaction. So this is your coupling reaction. Coupling reaction means coupling of the aromatic amine with the diazonium salt and then what happen we will get our methyl red. So this is your methyl red. So as you can see the comparison also almost same reaction diazotization and coupling reaction. Here your NN dimethyl it act as an electrophile it will get a substitute on your this ring of anthranilic acid. So let's see the mechanism of this whole reaction. 
Now the mechanism for both the preparation is almost same. Firstly, you can show your isotization reaction uh, by putting your sodium nitrite and HCl. After this, that is here I have shown the coupling reaction. If now uh, you are taking anthranilic acid, you can draw this structure. If you have taken the sulfanilic acid, so you can write down at the para position SO3 Na. So rest of the uh, mechanism is same. So first thing would happen, this lone pair will shift on this and it will further shift this pi electron and there is the attack of this pi electron on this nitrogen. And as you know that nitrogen here, it is electronegative in nature, so can't retain the positive charge on it. So immediately this electron density shift on this nitrogen. So like here, this bond remains as such. Here we have another pi electron density and here also we have pi electron and this nitrogen gives the positive charge. So as I already told you that nitrogen nature is electronegative can't retain the positive charge. So it is very important to neutralize this charge for that what we are going to do is here we have added the HCl. So HCl we provide chlorine, chloride ion that will withdraw this proton and then what happens? It will neutralize the positive charge on the nitrogen and you will get this structure. So this is the structure of your methyl red. So similarly you can draw the mechanism for your uh, preparation of methyl orange. So let's start now the preparation of both these indicators. Firstly we are preparing methyl orange from sulfonylic acid and for uh, practical purpose like I have taken half the amount of every chemical reagent. So firstly I have taken 2.5 gram of uh, sulfonylic acid to which we are going to add 1 gram of sodium carbonate and to this we are going to add near about 12.5 ml of water. Put the right amount of water and then just shake it and uh, if necessary you can also warm it. Let the sulfonylic acid properly dissolve. Your sulfonylic acid, it is completely dissolved. In another beaker, you can dissolve your sodium nitrite in the water. And cool the this solution of sodium nitrite that you have uh, dissolved in the water on the ice bath. Make sure you have maintained the temperature from 0 to 5 degree Celsius. So we have kept the sodium nitrite and water in the ice bath in order to maintain the temperature near about 0 to 5 degrees Celsius. Now we have prepared the mixture of uh, your 3 ml of concentrated HCl and 10 ml of water which we are going to add drop wise to our sodium nitrite solution. Now we are preparing the solution of dimethylenaline. We are taking near about 1.5 ml of dimethylenaline which we are going to dissolve in 5 ml of dilute HCl. And after that we need to keep this uh, dimethylenaline solution also on the ice bath in order to cool the solution. So here we have placed our uh, dimethylenaline solution on the ice bath. Now till then it's getting cooled what we are going to do we are going to mix our sodium nitrite solution to the sulfonylic acid solution. So now our diazotization will complete. So here we are doing the diazotization. So as you know that uh, your sulfonylic acid it has the NH2 group amino group which will get converted to the N2Cl negative that is the disonium salt. So keep the temperature at 0 to 5 degree. Let it stand for 5 to 10 minutes. After 10 minutes what we are going to do, we are going to add drop wise our uh, this uh, 
डाइमिथाइल एनालीन सोल्यूशन टू द डाई एजोटाइज सल्फानिलिक एसिड विद प्रॉपर स्टरिंग एंड शेकिंग as you can see as we are adding the solution it will become orange color color of the mixture is changing to orange allow the mixture to stand for near about 10 minutes when the methyl orange separates out as red orange red precipitates so as you can see the precipitates they are separated out so what we are going to do now we are going to prepare near about 20% annuar solution so already we have prepared this solution and uh, take 7.5 ml of this uh, annuar uh, solution and add it to the this solution in which we have already done the diazotization and coupling so as soon as you have added the annuar solution with constant shaking the orange color is formed now warm this uh, mixture to see near about 60 degrees celsius and add near about 2.5 g of nacl to it Here we have added the NaCl. Now shake it properly. Cool the mixture in ice bath, and after that, this we are going to filter the orange red product. Then give the washing with cold water. Recrystallization we are going to done uh, from boiling water. Filter and dry, as well as note the yield of the product. so firstly what we are going to do in order to prepare our uh, next uh, indicator that is methyl red from anthranilic acid we are going to take near about 4 g of anthranilic acid in a beaker then to this we are going to add uh, 3 ml of concentrated hcl and uh, 3 ml of your water shake it well and cool the solution on the ice bath maintaining the temperature near about 0 to 5 degrees celsius and to this now we are going to add uh, more uh, 5 ml near about concentrated hcl and stir it properly Now in another conical flask what we have done is we have taken near about 2.2 g of sodium nitrite in 10 ml of water we dissolve it and cooling the solution of the sodium nitrite in the ice bath so this is sodium nitrite solution now we are going to do the diazotization so add slowly the sodium nitrite solution to the anthranilic solution with constant stirring so here we have prepared the diazonium salt now once you have completed with the diazotization we are going to perform the coupling reaction so for coupling reaction what we are going to take is nn dimethyl aniline as you know that coupling takes place between the aromatic amine put this nn dimethyl aniline in small amount to the diazonium salt with vigorous stirring and keeping the reaction mixture to 0 to 5 degree celsius that is below 5 degree celsius you need to maintain the temperature whenever you carry out the coupling reaction and diazotization until the solution is cooling so we have we are going to prepare the solution of sodium acetate in water so we have taken near about 4.2 g of sodium acetate in 10 ml of water so take 5 ml of this sodium acetate solution and uh, put this in the reaction mixture stir the reaction mixture for near about 30 minutes while maintaining at the same temperature so as you can see 
that the color has changed so after near about 30 minutes you have to add 3 ml of 20% NaOH like we have done before also to this solution and you will see that methyl red will separate out as orange red precipitate so allow the reaction mixture to stand for near about 1 hour with the original stirring and then filter the product with the help of Buckner funnel washing with cold water and then with the 10% acetic acid and again with your cold water and recrystallization you can done by using the methanol after that dry the precipitate and noted the gel and melting point so melting point of uh, this uh, methyl red is near about 182 degrees celsius and uh, for your methyl orange the melting point is not like defined so whatever you obtain you can note it down thank you that's all for the preparation of the these two indicators.